Hi everyone. Today's video is in response to a question posted on my very first and by far most popular video on how to create a thermometer goal chart. The viewer asked whether it was possible to sh show multiple sources filling a single thermometer. And the answer is yes. And actually it's really quite simple. So simple in fact that I figured I'd take the viewer's request even a step further by also adding multiple thermometers all within a single chart. And on top of that, I'm also going to respond to those other viewers who have been having a hard time getting their digital hands on a thermometer outline. In my first video, I simply stated that I had created the outline myself without actually explaining how I went about doing so. Today, I'm go going to correct that omission starting now. This is the chart that we're going to make, and it is purely uh, sourcing all of its uh, knowledge off of this simple table down here. We're going to go to Insert, Shapes, and we want a circle. Holding down Shift to make a circle instead of an oval. Uh, actually, that label said oval. Let's see, oval. Uh, and then we want to also add... Uh, not a rectangle, but a rounded rectangle. And make it approximately a... Uh, however, uh, the only thing that you want to uh, sort of be careful of is you want it to be centered, of course. Now, uh, these have a nice rounded all the way across. These just have uh, two rounded corners. To fix that, you just click on the yellow diamond here. Click and drag it down. There you go, you have the rounded tip. Um, and then you want to bring it down so that uh, they're not, the bottom part is just starting uh, to con uh, round out uh, once it's already uh, crossed into the uh, circle here. Okay. Once we have that, we're going to go to select one of them, format, uh, more options. Uh, colored outline black dark one okay we want to do the same for the circle doesn't matter what order uh, if you did the circle first uh, you'll notice that the rectangle is on top or you could have just done the exact opposite I like doing it this way but in any case you want to select both of them select one shift select the other copy you want to open uh, Microsoft Paint or something similar to that, uh, but probably Microsoft Paint. Uh, move it a little bit into the center so you have space all around to work with. And then uh, you want to get rid of this uh, part of overlap. Uh, you can delete parts or just use uh, the eraser tool. Okay. Uh, the only thing you really want to be careful of is that you don't break the border. So just make sure your eraser tool doesn't go too far. Uh, this should work. I'm going to select an area that has space all around it. And then Control C, go back to Excel, Control V, bring it down. Okay. And just like in my other video, next step is to go have it selected, form, picture tools, format, remove background. Uh, this isn't an exact science, but I've had quite a lot of luck by making sure this inner border is just outside of the thermometer outline. A little bit more. Okay. Um, the area that we want to keep is out here. So I'm mark area keep okay okay and we want the center to be removed and there we go uh, we can click outside or go to keep changes I'm gonna click on that now we have our cookie cutter uh, the next step is kind of up to you except you definitely want to crop the top down to the beginning there and the bottom. Uh, it's your choice whether you uh, r reduce the sides. If you don't, uh, your thermometer will be more narrow. 
And if you do, okay, click outside, there's your cookie cutter. Now this next step is probably more simple than how I explained in the previous video. So you have, you need this table and you want it to be outlined like so with, uh, you have your gauges at the top, you can name them whatever, but this is what's going to go across the bottom of your horizontal axis and what you have labeled here will become uh, the color labels and the label for the actual thermometer uh, all of which will appear in your legend and you want to make sure you have a blank spot in this upper corner uh, if you don't want all of, uh, the sort in each individual source to appear in every single gauge or thermometer uh, you want to uh, use blanks as opposed to zeros in here uh, probably uh, it's up to you maybe I'm wrong uh, I, I just think so I think I'm right in this case you want it to be blank not null not zero okay once you have that you can just go from this upper right corner okay and go to insert column stacked column okay we're getting close here you'll notice the gauges are right uh, but all of them are all stacked up on top of each other including the thermometer which are at the bottom uh, the order by the way doesn't really matter uh, you'll just notice uh, what you have listed at the top appears at the bottom of a stacked column select your thermometer column and go to format format selection and you want your thermometer outline to be secondary. This is very important that you don't get these two mixed up. The thermometer outline is always the secondary axis. Go to close. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, but in some cases, you might find that you have these stacks still, they look like they're still stacking on top. Actually, they're behind, they're just, they stack up higher than the thermometer. And that's only because you have two vertical uh, axis labels. So get rid of the thermometers, which whichever is the larger one. Or no, it, it should definitely be the secondary vertical uh, axis label you see there. Hit delete. Uh, let's try that again. Hit delete. Okay. Now it's uh, correct. We want to select the image, copy, paste. There we go. Uh, this is uh, perfectly acceptable here. Uh, don't worry about, you might have saw a little board there that comes and goes. Uh, just uh, tweak the sides a little bit and uh, the little extra bits will disappear. Uh, now, if uh, these thermometers look too narrow for your case, just select uh, the thermometer. Go to Format again, Format Selection. And you want to change the gap space to something smaller, say 20%. Okay, but now wait a second. Now you need to also widen the sources, but you can't seem to click on them because the thermometer, even though you can see through it, is still layered on top. So just click outside, maybe click on the thermometer, hit the up arrow. Now you have uh, source one selected. Uh, once again, go to format, format selection, change that to 20 percent closed and now you have a wider thermometer okay uh, other things to point out is the fact that uh, when you have these multiple thermometers I think in my previous video I was dealing with uh, percents and percents of a hundred uh, here I'm doing values so each thermometer can uh, show up at as different heights instead of all of them being at a hundred percent uh, that's just uh, you know something you choose uh, what your preference is uh, but if it's higher you'll notice that the round part winds up uh, more stretched or squished uh, because they're all based off of the same image that's just pretty much something you'll just have to live with unfortunately or uh, but I really don't think it matters too much people will understand they're all thermometers here okay and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope uh, you like this addition to my very first video, and I hope you learned a couple of things, and I hope I've cleared up uh, some things that I might have left out in the first video. 
Uh, please continue to make comments and suggestions for future videos. And like always, thank you for watching and have a great day.